genocidal Israeli occupation forces. Late, uh, latest assault on the Palestinian people. Last night, the IOS began a massive invasion of multiple cities in refugee camps in the West Bank. They're airstriking population centers, destroying roads, and surrounding hospitals with tanks. The IOS is attempting to grind to death the Palestinian people in the West Bank who have already been living under constant occupation and settler violence for decades. This escalation comes on the back of 11 continuous months of the Zionist entity's genocidal assault on Gaza, which has killed over 186,000 people.
infrastructure damage, the Iowa has besieged hospitals and obstructed medical services, which is intensifying the humanitarian crisis in these affected areas. Snipers have also been deployed in various locations, and tear gas has been used extensively. The operation has also seen a wide scale abduction campaign with many young men taken from their homes. On top of that, various cities and villages are being subjected to mass shootings and poverty. The occupation's current military operation is following after 10 months of genocide in Gaza, where Israeli forces have faced persistent resistance from Palestinian groups. The shift in focus to the West Bank represents an attempt to extend the military strategy and achieve what they could not do in Gaza, which is the suppression of widespread resistance in its popular support base. The situation remains fluid
this town and this campus feels lonely without you. We missed you since last year. Welcome home. Why we are here? The attack against Tuas, against Turkarim, Jinin, and Nablus, taking over two hospitals, killing over a dozen of people, injuring many, and putting a checkpoint more and more. It is the same plan they are doing in our Gaza, Palestine, which is ethnic cleansing to empty Palestine for its indigenous inhabitant people and to make it one racist Jewish Zionist state. Let's face that and let's admit it. You have responsibility here. You have responsibility here in campus to protect students for justice in Palestine and its members. For that, I urge you, for the people who belong to other clubs, to ask other clubs to adopt what Student for Justice in Palestine stands for. Ceasefire, stopping genocide, and apartheid on that racist state. Less than that should it be acceptable. for the clubs who cares about environment and racial justice movement, that they have responsibility too. They cannot close their eyes while the people of Palestine, their siblings, brothers and sisters, getting butchered every single day. You have responsibility, and each one of you has to stand for that responsibility. It's your money are killing us. You have responsibility. It's your tax money killing the Palestinians. America is part of that war. So you have to take that responsibility. You cannot close your eyes. It is the truth for the last 76 years. Open your eyes and you are our leaders for the future. Here we are in Berlington, they are, we are living under the First Amendment and democracy and freedom of speech, but when it comes to the Palestinian question, even though you're coming from different states, I urge you, as a Palestinian, as one of you, to register to vote, because we need you in March. We need you on March to stand us and to stand for Palestine and to end up the apartheid regime. We need you here in campus and we need you in town. You are part of this town and our politicians are blocking us year after year to speak up for the Palestinian rights. So this responsibility is very easy register for both, to stand against apartheid, and to stand with the Palestinian people, to stand for justice. Without that, you are short of saying what should be said. So please, follow us, stand with the Student for Justice in Palestine, string it this uh, uh, chapter, because one day, this racist college is going to come after you, mm -hmm. one by one. If you are black, if you are Hispanic, if you are LGBTQ, if you are Jewish, they're coming after you. We experience it and we see it. So let's end racism on this campus. Let's end racism on this town. And thank you.
Today we rally as IOF forces launch their largest invasion of the weapons zone. Today we rally as IOF forces launched their largest invasion of the West Bank in over two decades. The last time the IOF stormed the West Bank as such, they committed war crimes in the Janina and Nablus war uh, refugee camps as assessed by Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch. At the time, Human Rights Watch stated that, that the IOF, quote, acted as though the main aim was to punish the Palestinian people, unquote. It is clear to anybody observing with an honest and compassionate eye that now the regime plans to extend beyond the cruelty of collective punishment into the horror and brutality of genocide. The destruction left in their wake in Gaza will soon have parallel in the West Bank. The aim of the IOF is simple. Make Palestinian existence in the homeland of their grandparents unlivable. With bombs, bullets, chemical weapons, starvation, disease, and psychological torture, the IOF will fight with every weapon available to it, and yet Palestine will stand, and its people will fight back. As tanks enter the West Bank, now the Palestinian resistance mounts a defense against the settler colonial entity. This invasion signals the beginning of a new phase of war, and thus a new phase of resistance. As the freedom fighters in Palestine launch a new phase of resistance, we too must join them. In ever greater numbers, and ever greater force, now more than ever we must band together as a movement and make inoperable the war machine. The university is among the prime arteries of that war machine in Vermont. Heavy investments in companies that produce arms for the IOF are already apparent even in the compromised and cowardly financial statement that administration released after student activists forced their hand. Now is the time for greater movement, for greater action, for greater pressure. The movement uh, is not limited, uh, the movement for divestment and boycott on campus is not limited to any one organization, not to any one group of people. When you do not know who your comrades are, it is your duty to find them. When you do not hear plans for action, it is your duty to speak them into existence. Genocide-supporting administration to its knees. Find in your heart your compassion for the Palestinian people. Feel in your veins the fire that burns with hatred at their murderers. And know in your mind a plan to bring the regime to collapse.
to re-emphasize that every mobilization, every protest, every action that we do in response to this genocide must be for the purpose of building a long-term movement on this campus. We must build our movement locally as a part of the national movement that is organizing in solidarity with the Palestinian struggle against the Zionist occupation. So as we begin this semester, be ready to link up with organizations on campus, join and build formulations of solidarity, and get ready to organize. This close.